Log into your iPad app using your PIN. If your shift is closed, you'll see that you'll have to open the register. Tap on Open Register and you'll see a pop-up that requires you to enter your opening amount. This opening amount refers to the initial cash in your cash drawer. Key in the amount, select Enter and confirm. Your shift is now open. To go to your register, tap on the menu button here and tap Register. On your register screen, look for the items that your customer wants and tap to select it. Once you've selected it, you'll see it appear on the sales ticket over here. If you want to change the quantity of any of your selected items, tap on the item and use the plus and minus button. Let's try and add a new customer. Tap on the add customer button and then the plus sign. Now, enter the customer's details. Once you're done, tap save and your new customer is now saved and assigned to the sale. To select a customer that's already in your database, just select add customer and then search for the customer using the search bar and select his name. Now, your customer is tagged to the transaction. You'll notice that if you select the customer name, you get access to the overview, contact details and order history of the customer. If you need to edit any information, just tap edit and then save once you're done. You've now added and edited the customer's information onto your Storehub POS. By tapping on the selected item, you can apply a discount by percentage or by amount. You can also add a note to the item. You can also apply a discount to the entire bill. Tap on the discount tab at the bottom of the sales ticket. Enter a discount by percentage or by amount. You can see the total amount of the selected products, including the discounts and taxes here. Once your customer is ready to pay, tap on the total sale amount or charge. Choose the payment method, then enter the amount tended by your customer. You can choose to print or email the receipt to your customers. You've now completed your first transaction. The register allows you to split the bill into multiple methods of payment by selecting the split button here. Select the first payment method and then specify the amount tended. Continue to select payment methods and corresponding amounts until the whole bill is paid for. On your iPad, tap on the button on the top left corner of the screen. Tap on Transactions and locate the transaction that you want to cancel and select Cancel Transaction. Select Yes to confirm and then you'll notice that the transaction does not disappear but is just marked as cancelled. Tap menu and select transactions. You can scroll and search for the transaction. If you have the receipt number, type it into the search bar, select your transaction and tap refund. Tap the red button to remove items that you don't wish to refund. You can tap next. Select the method of refund and then the reason. If your reason isn't listed, tap other and type your reason. Tap confirm once you're done. Now your transaction has been refunded. If you wish to process a return but don't have the receipt number to locate the transaction, you can also do a manual return. Tap the shortcut menu button and then select manual return. From the register screen, select the item to refund and tap the total amount. Similarly, select the method of refund and then the reason. Tap confirm once you're done. Your item has been refunded. So now that the item has been refunded, you need to decide whether you'd like to add it back to your inventory or right off the stock. You can do this at the back office. At Transactions, select Returns, select the refunded transaction and choose whether to restock or write off. Click Save once you're done. Tap on the shortcut menu, select the pre-order option and make a new pre-order. Select the items as requested by your customer. Edit the necessary information of the sales. To complete the pre-order, add in the customer's information by searching here or add a new customer here. When you're ready to cash it out, tap on the total sale amount. Select a pickup date and time, and you can also add notes to the pre-order. Tap next, and on this page, you can select the payment method for the pre-order deposit. 
If your customer wants to pay by cash, just tap on cash and indicate how much deposit your customer wants to pay. Enter the amount tended. Select to print or email the pre-order receipt. To do a pickup, tap on the shortcut menu at the top right corner of the screen. Go to pre-order and select pickup. If your customer has his pre-order receipt, enter the receipt number. You can also search by customer. Just enter the customer's name and select the transaction. To pay, tap on the total entire bill amount again. Tap on a payment method, choose to print or email the receipt. And you're done. You've made a pre-order and completed the pickup.